gonna be a different year This is not the place for fear I've got a job to well, hello, boys do Hello boy and girl, happy Tuesday uh, Today was a very exciting day because we actually started watching the first part of Freak the Mighty We only got about 20 minutes in or so um, because we had our shortened schedule so we could celebrate Halloween um, and we went over uh, the work that you were going to need to do while you watch the movie. So I'm going to take a few minutes right now. I'm going to show you the assignment um, and give you guys your directions. So the assignment can be found on the blog. And you will see today we are comparing and contrasting Freak the Mighty versus The Mighty. Okay? This is the book. This is the movie. All the directions are right here. What you're doing is you are watching the movie and you are analyzing the movie for similarities and differences. You are trying to compare and contrast. I want you to find a minimum of five similarities and five differences. You're going to record your similarities on the graphic organizer that I'm going to show you in a moment. And I want you to make sure that you're using your vocabulary that we've been introduced to in Unit 1 about the literary elements. So some of that vocabulary is going to be setting or character. Um, conflict is another one. And the last one is plot. These are the four main ones that we've really been focusing on in Unit 1. So you're going to be required to write in specific, uh, in specific sentences, complete sentences. So anyone who's writing and they don't write in complete sentences, you're going to be losing points for that. So this is what your blank graphic organizer uh, looks like. It's about as big as I can make it. And you will see the directions are right there as well. They're very similar to what I just read to you um, from the blog. So you'll see that this is a modified Venn diagram. In the middle, this is where you're going to list the similarities between the book and the movie. So if the movie does something the same way that the book does, you're gonna write it right here in the middle. And you will see there's a slot for up to seven. You're gonna be typing right in this. All of your work, you will see, must be submitted on Google Classroom. So no one's gonna be uh, handing in their paper copies in class. Everyone's gonna hand in their digital copy. And it's not due until November 5th. Um, we're gonna be watching the movie in small parts. So it's gonna take us three to four days in class to watch it. Um, and that way you're gonna have until we watch the entire movie before that's handed in. So this is not gonna be due until the 5th. Here to our graphic organizer, the similarities are gonna be in the middle. Those ones are a little bit easier to find. Um, the difference is you're going to put on the outside of your graphic organizer. On the left, you'll see this is the book. Um, and you're going to write your information in here about the book over on this side. And over here, you're going to write your information about the movie. Type your information about the movie here. So if you find something that's different, it's going to go on the outside of your Venn diagram. Now, let me explain um, some parameters and some tips for you guys that I need you to follow. First, you can find the assignment on our blog. You can find all of the directions. You can find the link to the movie. So you can watch the movie right here from our blog. All right. The one thing that you won't be able to do from the blog though, is you will not be able to complete the graphic organizer. For that, you will have to go to our Google Classroom. Under the stream, you can find the assignment right here. Once again, the assignment is written for you. And here is the movie. And under the classwork tab, this is where you'll find the official unit one, compare and contrast the book and the movie. You'll see that it's due on November 5th by 9 a.m. That's the time I'm making all of my assignments due from now on. It's at 9 a.m. That way they're due at the start of the day, not at the end of the day. All right, and here is your assignment. So you can access your graphic organizer right from here. And once you are on your graphic organizer, you may click right inside the box and you can type right in here. 
Now, I want you to try to focus on the large, um, the big picture when you're trying to compare um, the book and the movie. If you were to pick out every last detail, there are millions of details that are exactly the same, and then there's millions of things that are different. What I want you to try to do is to focus on the big picture when you think about things. So when you think about these, I want you to think about setting. When you read the book, um, you should have envisioned a specific setting. What does Max's town look like? What's the down under look like? What does Max's school look like? Um, and then when you watch the movie, you might make a decision, does the setting match with the way I pictured the setting uh, when I read the book? Are those two things the same or are they different? You should focus on the characters um, and thinking about the character of Max and the character of Kevin and even the characters of uh, Killer Kane and Graham and Grimm. Are these characters in the movie, are they portrayed, are they developed the same way in the movie as they are in the book? Plot's a big one. And this is one where a lot of students, you guys can get bogged down in picking out every last little thing that's different. Um, when it comes to plot, again, try to focus on the larger picture plot. You might think about these three ideas, something that movies often do um, with books. Sometimes a movie will omit a plot event. So there might be something that happens in the book and you'll notice that in the movie, uh, it's left out. And when that happens, it's called an omission, or the movie omitted that scene from the book. It happens all the time. Another thing that movies sometimes do is they will insert scenes, or they will add scenes that were not in the book, but now, all of a sudden in the movie, you have scenes that were inserted. And another thing that um, movies do is they will change. They could change the plot. They could either change the order in which events happen, they might take some events and combine them. They might have a couple events in the book and they combine them into one scene or um, just completely change the scenes all together. So when you think about plot, I want you to think about, did the movie leave it out? Did the movie add scenes? Did the movie change scenes? When you're watching the movie, I've given all the students a paper copy for the students who were here in class today. For the students who weren't, they're gonna need to use their digital copy. But I'm gonna show you um, a completed version of this that I did with a few examples of what I mean when I say focus on the big picture and not the small details. So here is a completed version that I did based on the movie. So I'm gonna start here with the similarities. And you will notice the very first thing I put under similarities is I've identified one of the similarities, the character of Max. So I'm coming out and I'm telling you one thing that is the same is Max. The character of Max is the same. And I write a de detailed description of what I mean. Max lives with his grandparents, his mom is dead, his dad is Killer Kane, and he has no friends. These things are exactly the same in the movie as they were in the book. So our character of Max when I'm watching the movie, I'm getting the same Max as I did in the book. Now let me show you the differences. One of the differences between the book and the movie is the character of Tony D. And I've labeled it, you'll see number one over here goes with number one over here. They both say the character of Tony D. And now I'm gonna describe how is Tony D in the book? And I wrote this. In the book, Tony is older than Max and he only shows up once or twice to make trouble for Max. Over here, for the movie, the character of Tony D. Tony's the same age as Max and he's in school with Max. Tony gets Max into trouble in school and he is a regular bully to Max. So we can see that the character of Max is the same, but the character of Tony is very different. We could do the same thing when it comes to, let's say, a plot event. Right? One of the similarities is with the plot. 
And one thing that's exactly the same in the movie as it is in the book is that Max and Kevin go to the fireworks down at the mill pond and have a confrontation with Tony D and his gang, which ends up with them in the middle of the pond. This happens exactly um, the way it does in the book. It happens just like that in the movie. But now I can think of a different plot event. And number two over here under the book goes with number two over here. One of the plot events is Max and Kevin becoming friends. And in the book, I write, Max and Kevin become friends when Max gets Kevin's toy out of, of, of the tree. They hang out together in the summertime and go into each other's houses as well as going on quests together. That's how their friendship is developed in the book. But in the movie, Max and Kevin become friends when Kevin gets assigned to be Max's reading tutor. Kevin ultimately pays Max to take him to the fireworks and tells Max to consider their arrangement a partnership and not a friendship. We see that that is something that's very different. You'll also notice the length of my answers. All right? These are complete detailed sentences with detailed descriptions. So if you guys are looking to score well, you can see the expectation for you. You need to find a minimum of five similarities and five differences. So, with all of that said, guys, um, the assignment can be found right under Unit 1. This is one of the last assignments of the first quarter. It's one of the last assignments that we're going to be doing for Unit 1 um, as we are wrapping up um, the book Freak the Mighty. Um, we will be moving into the second part of Unit 1 where we're going to be diving into the literary elements after this. Okay, right now though, you guys have two assignments that you should be working on. One of them is that um, compare and contrast graphic organizer I just showed you. And then of course, the other one is your end of book quiz. The quiz on chapters 23 through 25. We went over this yesterday. This assignment, you can see, is going to be due on Friday of this week. So you'll have till the end of the week to work on that. Um, so I look forward to watching uh, part two of the movie with the B-Day students when they come in on Thursday and Friday. Um, A-Day students, we should be wrapping this up by the end of this week or Monday. I will keep you posted. The video is provided right on the stream or it's also on the blog. So you're able to watch it right from home. So no one should need to say that they didn't have access to the movie. The movie um, is right there for you guys. So enjoy the movie, it's a great movie. I told the students today, um, you might wanna just sit down and watch it one time through just to enjoy the movie, and then you might wanna sit down with your graphic organizer and watch it a second time um, and actually fill in your graphic organizer then. Whichever way you do, this is due on November 5th. So make sure that your works get hand work gets handed in on time and that you're doing your absolute best writing. All right, guys, good luck. Have a good evening. I'll see you guys on Thursday.